In our previous episode, we reviewed key events in the history of television and the role television has played in shaping modern communication technology. In today's program, we will further explore the lives of two notable early TV pioneers, Russian scientist Vladimir Sforkin and the American inventor Philo Farnsworth, and we'll take a look at their groundbreaking work in TV imaging and transmission. Join us. History of Television. I'm Valerie Guerra. In the earlier days of TV broadcasting, a small group of scientists and entrepreneurs sought to mass produce television systems using crude mechanical devices to scan and play back visual images. The mechanical TV systems, such as those offered in the late 1920s, the English company Baird Broadcasting successfully captured, transmitted, and reproduced TV images. However, the expensive cameras, transmission, and viewing devices used in these systems produced very low quality pictures and offered extremely limited transmission range. The birth of electronic television as we know it today would require more innovation. It was in the late 1920s when Russian inventor Vladimir Sforkin began making advances in electric imaging technology with the invention of the cathode ray tube based device called the kinescope in 1929. Zvorkin was one of the first to demonstrate the television system with all the features of modern picture tubes. Zvorkin also invented the icon scope in 1923, a tube for television transmission used in the first cameras. The icon scope was later replaced but it laid the foundation for early television cameras. American engineer Philo Farnsworth was born on August 19, 1906 in Beaver County, Utah. His parents wanted him to become a violinist, but early on he was drawn to experiments with electricity. He would immerse himself in many of the amateur science magazines that were popular at the time. At the age of 12, Farnsworth built an electric motor and produced an electric washing machine the first his family had ever owned. It was while still in high school that 14-year-old Farnsworth presented his teacher with his vision for a dissector tube, a low-cost, high-quality electric TV scanning device. Philo later attended Brigham Young University in Utah where he further researched television picture transmission. In 1926, he co-founded Crocker Research Laboratories. In 1927, Farnsworth was the first inventor to transmit an electronic television image comprised of 60 horizontal lines. Appropriately, the image transmitted was a dollar sign. He filed for his first television patent in 1927. Although he won an early patent, he would later become involved in a long, difficult patent infringement lawsuit with RCA. He would eventually win and be awarded more than a million dollars for RCA's violation of his patents. Farnsworth went on to invent over 165 different devices including equipment converting an optical image to an electrical signal, amplifiers, CRTs, and electrical scanners. There's nothing worthwhile than not going to watch it in this household and I don't want it in your intellectual diet. Ironically, those words reportedly spoken by Farnsworth years after the successful launch of the TV industry he helped birth. Join us on our next episode as we examine the transition from analog television to digital TV. I'm Valerie Guerra and you've been watching The History of Television. <laughs>